Hey, welcome. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple things with this little Colt Chico. Today, I think, is the fifth day that I've been working with him. And man, he's just coming along really nice. He's a nice horse. And he was well prepped. So thanks to Marlene and family that own this horse for having him ready. Pretty gentle, leads pretty nice. Um, I'm going to do something. I do this with almost every horse, but I rarely put it on video. And I thought, well, I should probably show that. And it's called roping their legs. <laughs> but uh, roping is a generic term for me because I'm not a very good roper. <laughs> I can sometimes rope a dummy, but I'm not very good. I couldn't catch a horse's heels with a rope. Uh, but I can <laughs> pick up his hind leg, put this rope around it because he's pretty gentle. Uh, the reason we do this, several reasons we do it is uh, one it makes them just more gentle about their feet so if you've got a horse that won't let you pick up their hind legs which you can see he's being a little bit difficult about that um, this helps with that a lot it also preps them for if something were to get caught around their legs, like if a horse were to get caught in a stray piece of wire out in the pasture, which is a, unfortunately a pretty common thing, then it teaches them not to fight against that. Uh, teaches them how to be hobbled, just a lot of things they learn. You can use any kind of rope with this. And I can't remember, I think I may have done this a little bit with the lead rope the other day where I just pulled forward on it. And what I'll expect is for him to kick at it, and that's what he's doing. Okay, and that's the reason I'm wearing gloves because he'll pull this lariat rope through my hand so I'll start off just pulling it forward okay and all I want him to do is give to it and sorry it happens every time you try to put something on video the horse turns away from the camera like every single time <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so I want him to give to it give to that pressure all right to the point that I can actually lead him by his hind leg. Okay. And so that he's responding about what I expected, and this is about what most horses do, and this is why they need it. Okay? Because he doesn't need to panic just when, when something gets around his legs. He needs to understand that it's not going to hurt him. There we go. So he gave to it and he stepped forward. Good. Gave to it, and he stepped forward. Okay. And I'm not holding this rope very tight, so if he pulls on it, it's going to slide through my hand. It's not the kind of thing where I'm going to really just grab onto it and hold it. Just putting some pressure there and asking him to give to that pressure. And this might take a while, so if it gets real long, we'll edit it down, but. I'll probably have to spend 10 or 15 minutes with each hind leg to get this halfway okay. You just be patient until he figures out it's not going to hurt him. Because his instinct tells him that that's something dangerous that's grabbed a hold of him and won't let go. So we've got to teach him that's not what it is. There. Good boy. Good boy. Let him lick his lips. Give him a break. Let him think about it. All right, buddy, I just want you to walk slowly. And he, you know, poor guy, he doesn't, he doesn't understand what we're doing here. He's not sure what the right answer is. Okay. Now, and he'll probably walk off here. He turned to face me, which I actually kind of like, because I've been teaching him to turn and face me. There, he gave to it right there. All right, now I'm going to tell him whoa, which he won't stop, but I'm going to tell him anyway. Instead, he's going to trot off. Ooh. I'm just going to hold this. And again, I'm not pulling very hard. And that's pretty, that's a typical response that you'll get from most horses in the beginning. Whoa. Now you may be thinking, oh Steve, you're hurting that horse. Nope, doesn't hurt a bit. 
Well, you're scaring that horse. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm doing it on purpose, okay? <laughs> there. Watch him learn. This is, you can almost see the horse's thinking if you watch, watch his head, watch what he's doing. He's thinking through this puzzle. So I want him to give, there, there, that was good. I want him to just give to it as I pull from behind and set that foot back right behind him. He's looking at the rope, so maybe I can bite it off. Okay. And one of the things I, I say all the time, you can't really, let me repeat, let me rephrase, you shouldn't train a horse with pain. I won't say you can't, but you shouldn't because you do not want a horse Aside from the fact that it's cruel, you don't want your horse to be afraid of you. If you train a horse with pain, the horse will just be afraid of you. Um, you train a horse with pressure. It's not painful, but it is pressure, and he's got to work through it. And what this does, it really quiet, gets a horse quiet. Once they get through this, it really quietens them down. Okay, so he was kind of okay for a second, and then he kind of lost it again. Ooh. Again, I'm letting this rope kind of slide. If he kicks real hard, I'm not pulling very hard. Just picking it back up. And there, oh, almost. He almost gave to it. Almost, okay, almost had it. So we're restricting movement here. There. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, so I don't know, probably close to 10 minutes. Been working with this foot, it usually takes that long and depending on how the horse responds, I may do it several times over the course of their training. If they respond well, I'll just do it once. Um, the two mares that I'm working with now, Magic and Coco, um, I just did it once I think with Coco. She picked up on it really quick. Uh, she doesn't have a real high fear level. With magic, I've done it two or three times already, and she needs it more because she has more fear. So it takes a little longer. Okay, see, I'm starting to give to that. I was almost ready to quit, and then he pulled it back. Almost ready to quit. I'm pulling... Just a few pounds of pressure, it's not much. There. <laughs> and he gives it and then he pulls it back. Just give it to me and let me have it. Let me have it, buddy. And this is typical of about how it usually goes. It's pretty normal. Almost there. He wants to nibble it and look at it, and that's okay. He's curious. Almost did it. There. I'm about ready to quit. Even though it's not as good as I'd like it to be, mentally he's going to get where he, he's pretty much going to shut down on me here pretty quick. It's a lot of pressure. Mentally, mentally, it's a lot of pressure. So let me get it fairly good and then I'm going to quit. Right there. Okay, I'm going to stop right there.